Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I could the amazing opportunity to tell something about our research. My name is Lubomir Stepanek, and I came uh, from the first Faculty of Medicine, Charles Lubomir in Prague, and from Faculty of Informatics and Statistics, University of Economics, Prague. Our team and me are interested in survival analysis and its applications. It's my big pleasure to say this is just joint work with Philip Habarta and Stanislav Kovac. Uh, well, let's have a look at the outline of my talk. Let's start with the introduction where I'm going to introduce uh, the local test, which is an inference test used for comparing two survival curves. Then I will continue with a proposed assumption-free alternative, and after that I will follow with a simulation study describing a bit more some properties of the method we have developed. Then I will put in some uh, key findings. Uh, the situation uh, of comparing uh, two time event survival curves is very common in applied statistics. Although uh, the local test is the first weapon of choice, there is a large statistical toolbox used to exceed the efficiency of the local test. However, all these approaches are limited by strict uh, statistical assumptions. The target variable in survival sort of analysis is two dimensional, covering both the time of the event and whether the event uh, or the censoring has occurred. Intuitively, such a variable is just being put in two dimensional chart, where usually a number of subjects not, not experiencing uh, the event of interest to a number of all subjects is split on a vertical axis at a given time point, while the horizontal axis stands for time until the event of interest or until the censoring. Logram test compares the expected and observed numbers of uh, the events of interest in both groups of the subjects across all time points where there is an event. At each uh, event time, we can construct a times two times continuous table and compare rates of events between the two groups, conditional on the number at risk in the uh, groups, which covers all individuals who have not yet had uh, the event or been sensors. The program test checks the null hypothesis uh, that both groups have identical hazard functions. It means that uh, rates of the events of interest in time can have shown fixed rates in the past. Uh, under the null hypothesis, the absurd numbers of the events of interest as random variables for hypergeometric distribution for both groups. Choose we can derive formulas uh, for their expected value and variance and for the chi squared statistics, which follows under the null hypothesis a chi square uh, distribution with one degree of freedom. The Logram test assumes uh, the censoring should not affect the event of interest anyhow, and the proportion of sensor data should be of nearly equal size in both the groups. Otherwise, the chi squares are different differ between the group one and two. Also, the initial total number of intervals and the number of all uh, event times should be large enough such that the chi square uh, test statistic fulfills its asymptotic properties. The assumption of free alternatives based on a discrete combinatorial calculation of possible states where one will obtain data at least as extreme as the observed data. States could not be considered as monotic vertical paths in a two-dimensional uh, chart, including the non-crossing survival curves. By estimating the numbers of the paths at least as extreme as the plotted two curves, we get a point estimate of the p-value. Here we can uh, see two time event uh, survival curves in a survival plot marked by both lines. And an example of a pair of monotic orthogonal paths above the blue dash line and below the red dash line, the original survival curves. So this pair of paths is more extreme than original curves and is therefore contrary to the null hypothesis. So under null hypothesis, uh, we assume uh, the survival curves are not significantly different. The p-value is the chance of obtaining data at least as extreme as the observed data. Given the null hypothesis, we can calculate the p-value as a probability uh, of getting pairs of survival curves such that the first curve is above the uh, top original one and the, in the plot, and the second curve is below the bottom original one. This is more formally described in the introduced uh, equations. The low current test and the proposed assumption free method were compared by simulating pairs uh, of random non crossing curves that are not significantly different and calculating the first type errors. It means uh, when the equivalent curves are detected as different. We assume that a more robust method should have less value of the first type error. So we generated many pairs of survival curves following a negative exponential survival function as defined below. We simulated a thousand of pairs of non-different curves by counting up uh, numbers of cases where p-value was lower than or equal to 0 0.05. We got, uh, we got point estimates of the first uh, type error frequencies. While the first type error rate of the organism was about 0 at 0.056, the first type error rate of the proposed method was lower, only about 0 at 0 0.12. While calculating uh, original paths in the grid of several plots, we can get a ratio of the number of all pairs of the paths that are most more distant one to each other, which opposes the general this, and the number of all non-crossing pairs of possible paths. Uh, based on the simulation, uh, the proposed method proved to be of higher robustness than the low uh, run test, so the assumption of free uh, version of the organism seems 
to be a valid alternative for the comparison of two time event curves. Besides, the method could be also a topic for a new R package development, which we are going to start soon. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. I could try to answer a question if you have them in the comments uh, below.